Hello, well, here's an interesting question, a pretty important one for the yes or no treatment, and it's this. Did Trump instigate the assault on the Capitol? Well, as I'm sure virtually everybody on the planet knows, uh, a mob attacked the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, 2021, this year, caused a lot of damage, injured a lot of police officers, and was intent upon preventing the U.S. Congress in joint session from confirming the election of Joe Biden as president. The uh, facts of the assault are not in question. Uh, hundreds of people are being prosecuted for participating in it. The real question is whether Donald Trump was responsible for instigating it. Okay, I mean, let's start out by looking at those who say, yes, he was, he was responsible. Well, Trump's continued claim after his election defeat in November was that the election was um, stolen from him and that he's still amazingly, he's still legally the president of the United States. As a master of slogans like, let's make America great again, his slogan for this one was, stop the steal. The insult on the Capitol, encouraged by him, was an attempt to stop the steal. So there's no question that he exhorted, inflamed, instructed the crowd to engage in the violence that took place. And, and he's actually got a track record of encouraging violence and mobs. And there, on one occasion, he encouraged his supporters at a rally to, quote, knock the hell out of some opposition protesters who were at his rally. Um, and when, when the mob uh, actually went ahead and attacked the Capitol, he, he said nothing. He delayed for hours making any kind of a defusing statement. He wanted it to continue. He wanted them to continue what he instigated. Trump's leading defense attorney during the impeachment trial in the Senate was so ill-informed and so incoherent that it quickly became clear that there was no reasonable defense available at all. And uh, by way of expert opinion, his first Secretary of Defense and also his Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and these are pretty important people, the most senior military people in the United States, both said it was his fault. So you really can't get more of an expert view than that. Well, what about the no people? Uh, what are their arguments? Well, much of it comes from Rudy Giuliani, his lawyer and former mayor of New York. Uh, Rudy's argument in a recent hearing in the District of Columbia was that the statement of calling for trial by combat, which he made on Trump's behalf, was simply a uh, rhetorical device. <laughs> he said no one could seriously believe that this meant that there should be actual combat. Uh, another one of his arguments is that Trump's claim of fraudulent practices in the election, and it was that the election was stolen, are true and therefore his urging people to stop the steal was a legitimate thing to do. And also his claim that the election was stolen, which therefore justifies the resistance to confirming Biden as president, is backed by a majority of Republican voters who agree with that conclusion. Therefore, it was not an unreasonable position to have taken. Uh, he also argued that there was a delay between Trump's speech to the crowd and that their assault in the Capitol uh, was not an, an incitement to, to do so. Any incitement involves immediate action, and there wasn't any in this case. Uh, next, he never actually told the crowd to storm the Capitol, even though many of his statements are apparently inflammatory. They never involved a direct order. This is quite similar, by the way, to the historic event of uh, King Henry the second in Britain complaining about Thomas Beckett with the phrase, who will rid me of this turbulent priest? He didn't actually order the knights to kill Beckett. Well, it's the same thing here. Okay, well, what's my take on, on all of this? Well, the phrase stop the steal says it all. Trump was ordering the mob to do whatever it took to prevent Congress from confirming his defeat. He is not only a sore loser, but he's a criminal, and he's guilty of fomenting armed insurrection and therefore treason. 
As an American-born British subject, by the way, I am thoroughly ashamed and embarrassed by this awful person. The sooner, the sooner he's off the national stage and off the street, for that matter, the better. Well, there it is. Uh, I hope most of you agree with that. It's a pretty reasonable position to take. And uh, in any case, if you liked it, give me a like, subscribe, comment, uh, notify, and all of that. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.